Hey, if you like card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, over the years, I have uh, put, published almost six different methods to do uh, Bob Beezer's uh, multiple shift. And this is uh, one that I basically had in my 2004 notes. I had the technology to do it, and I've had a lot of fun with this method over the years. Let's take a look. All right, even I'm going to cut off some small packets, five, ten cards each. All right. And the reason I've got four packets is I'm going to use our four aces, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. And we're going to put an ace on top of each one of these packets. And then I'm going to bury those aces in different spots in this deck. So, obviously uh, none on top of the deck. And I have none of the aces on the bottom of the deck, but they are theoretically in four different spots in this pack. Now, anytime I want those aces, I just snap my fingers and they go right down to the bottom of the deck. Hey, if you like card magic, click on subscribe. If you like this effect, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now, if you're ever in Vegas on Wednesday nights, make sure you come by the Gary Darwin Magic Club at Tommy Rockers. Meet every Wednesday. We've been going on 50 plus years doing this club. Anyway, this is a real fun version of Bob Beezer's Multiple Shift that first appeared in Ed Marlowe's Multiple Shift book. Had a lot of fun with this. If you uh, want to know the technology, how to make this happen, pick up my 2004 lecture notes has all the info you need. I have another video up on my channel called the Four of a Kind Transposition, which is based on a move of Bob Beezer's. Might want to check it out. It's called Four of a Kind Transposition. My name's Alan Ackerman, and I'll see you next time.